Let's say you want to play multiplayer Minecraft. What are your options? Well, you could buy a realm, but those are quite expensive. You could also get a server, which is great, but they also don't come in free. There are some free hosts out there, but they usually suck. So what else can you do? Well, you could install a mod like Essential, which allows you to host your world so anyone that also has the Essential mod can join it. Now that is kind of cool. And it's all 100% free as well. Though it does also have some downsides sites because if you get essential you don't only get the world hosting feature but also the friend list and the chat and of course the essential cosmetic store where you can buy in-game cosmetics for real life money and this is something many don't feel comfortable with but let's say you don't want all that let's say you simply want a mod that allows you to host a world and nothing else well now we've arrived at E4MC, an incredibly cool mod for Minecraft that allows you to simply host your world so anyone can join it. And it does nothing else, just that. Now, there are a few key differences between E4MC and Essential. The first one being the features. E4MC just allows you to host a world so anyone can join. Essential does that too, but it also does a lot more. Like I mentioned earlier, chat, cosmetic store, friend list, just a bunch of of extras. And while some people might really enjoy these extras, others might think it is a whole bunch of bloatware. And if you are one of those people, E4MC might be more interesting to you. Now the second key difference comes down to compatibility. Let's say you want to play Minecraft with 10 people. If you host a world through the Essential mod, then all 10 of you will have to install the Essential mod. Meaning all 10 of you have to mod the game, install Essential, and so on. With E4MC, this is not the case. Only one one person has to mod the game and install E4MC, and all other nine can simply join with a simple IP address in the multiplayer menu. Now that is awesome. <laughs> that is really, really cool. Now installing E4MC is easy. I will have a link to the Mudrinth page in the description down below. You will see that it's available for all versions from 1.17 to 1.21. It is also available for all four main modding platforms, so you can go for whatever version you prefer. Simply click on download select a version of your game and after that the platform now if you don't have any of these mod loaders installed i have made a separate video on how to do that and i would highly recommend checking it out first now after you've installed the mod making players actually join is really really simple you simply want to open the game menu and after that you want to click on open to LAN. now usually opening to LAN just means you open up a world so players connected to the same wi-fi network as you can join your world but because we have e4 MC installed, this will now instead make it so that anyone can join this world. So we can simply choose a game mode, and if cheats should be allowed, yes or no. And then over here we want to fill in a port. I would highly recommend filling in the port 25565, because this is the default port for a Minecraft server. And it just makes stuff a lot easier. Then you want to click on start LAN worlds, and there we go. What is that? We just got a link that says local game hosted on domain, and then we have a domain that says mapleaccident.eu.e4mc.link. This is the E4MC mod in full action. So what we can now simply do is copy this link, give it to anyone we want to play together with. The only thing they will have to do is boot pure vanilla Minecraft in the same version that you are on and they will be able to join. So when I open another installation of Minecraft and I go to multiplayer, then I click on add server and after that here, in the server address bar, I fill in the address we just copied. Then, as soon as we click on done, you will see there it is. Kasai Sora New World. One out of eight players online. So we can double click to join, and there we go. We're on. You can see when I click on tab, there is Kassasora also here on the server. I am just playing multiplayer now. It is as easy as that. And there is no bloat, no other underlying features, nothing crazy going on. This is just it. This is how it works. It is so simple and easy. Now, something that I definitely feel is worth mentioning is that this whole project is completely open source. Meaning you can look at this entire project's code, but not just that, 
you could fork it if you want to do. You could even run it on a server of your own. Because not just the mod is open source, but also everything that happens on the server side. So the whole system that hosts your world on this domain, that is also all open source. So you can look through all of it. You can even host it yourself if you want. It is really, really cool. And that is going to be it for today. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel, join my Discord. Thank you so much, channel members. And then I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye.